Hey, Stats Class. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the uh, inverse normal function on a TI-84, same as this, it is on TI-83, to find a z-score, an unknown z-score that has a given area to the left of it. So this procedure is, is underneath the VARS menu, just like normal dot, uh, our normal CDF is. So right below it is inverse norm. If you come down, there's inverse norm. Hit enter. Inverse normal wants to know what is the area to the left. And it's 0 0.9686 here. And then it wants to know the mean and standard deviation. Okay, and because it's normal, standard normal, the mean is 0, the standard deviation is 1. So I can just scroll down to paste. If I didn't have a an 84 that has that menu that asks what's the area, what's the mean, what's the standard deviation, that's the order it goes in. Okay, area to the left, the mean, the standard deviation. I hit enter, there's my number. I want to sit to two places, so that's just going to be 1.86. All right, let's look at another one. This one, a z-score with an area of 0.2611 to the left of it. All right, because that's the same exact type of problem, I just need to hit second, enter. It brings back the last thing I did. And all I do is just change this area to the updated area, and there's my z-score. All right, to two places, that'll be negative 0.64. All right, so area to the left, no problem. That's what in, uh, inverse normal is four now what if it's the area to the right so the blue region is shaded to the right of the number that i'm looking for so it's no longer just the inverse normal as it uh, is is designed so what i would have to do in this case is second vars for define inverse normal but instead of putting in 0.88888 i would need to do one minus that because the area to the right is 0.8888. The area to the left is 1 minus that, and we have to put in area to the left in inverse norm. So mean is 0, standard deviation is 1 still, so there's the number I need, negative 1.22. So when we have an area to the right, the big change is that first number needs to be 1 minus that area to the right. All right, when you get to these last uh, few problems in the homework set, one of the questions that you'll see is uh, 80, the 87th percentile. So this is the lower 87th, or eight, your, your score, or whatever this score is, is 87% higher than others. Uh, the top 13% is another way to think of it. But 87% is below this number. So this is the number that would need to go into the inverse normal. So I'm going to do second bars again, inverse normal. The area below it is the percentile as a decimal. So instead of 87, I would do 0.87. I right, mean is zero, standard deviation is one again. So there's the number that I need, 0.1126112 roughly. Right, and when we're trying to figure out which one of these is, is it, 87% uh, is below it. So that means uh, way more than half is below it. So we have to be well past the center. So remember numbers get bigger to the right. So if 87% is lower then the shaded region has to be much more on the left end than the right end so this is the only one that fits that description so this has to be d and then it wants to know what is that number so again make sure you're looking at the how many decimal places because z scores are typically rounded to two places probabilities are typically rounded to four so you want to make sure you get these right so this is 1.13 to two places all right so that inverse norm can take in area to the left, percentiles as, as well, and return the number that has that area to the left, which is what we mean by the, and again in this case, the 87th percentile. All right, same problem, but this time the bottom 5% from the top 95. So P5, that means 5% is below it. So hardly anything is below it. So that's, again, below is to the left. So that's going to be this one down here. Okay, all the rest of them have far too much, uh, far too far to the right. So there is P5. And again, we're going to do, I'm going to do second enter. Instead of 87%, it's 5%. Remember, 5% is 0. Five. Be really careful when you type in these single digit percentages. All right, once it's two places, so that'd be 0 0.16 negative. All right, and then this is another way to find, uh, or to use the inverse norm. Now, when we see it written this way, Z.04 means 0 0.04 is to the right of it. So you go back and forth in this. You just got to understand like P with a number below it 
means that percent is to the left of it. But Z with that number below it means that percent or this, this decimal is to the right of it. So because it's to the right, I would need to do one minus, right? I'm out of places. Notice I'm on the comma. I can hit second insert one minus 0 0.04. Right, you can also just do 0.96. You can just do that subtraction in your head. And there's the number that I need. 1.75 to two places. All right, so when we see a, a z-score with a, a subscript like that, that's the area to the right. So we do need to subtract from 1 for in, inverse normal.